How's it going everyone? I'm back again with another Dark Card exclusive figure. And this time I'm going to share with you guys my version of the Samurai Predator. I made two of these guys and this is the first one I'm going to share with you. Eventually I'm going to make another video and show you the results of the second one. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and also that notification button so you know the next time I post a video but definitely definitely subscribe it really helps the channel out and also leave me a comment let me know what you think about the about the custom okay so let's get started now here's a little backstory about these predators the predators have always had a special connection to the samurai throughout history the predators have encountered the samurai many times and consider them to be worthy f opponents. Some predators have even dressed up as the samurai. Not much is known about these predators, except that they hunted during the feudal Japan era. Their favorite prey were the fierce Japanese warriors named samurais. To honor these worthy preys, the predator ornamented his armor and mask to resemble them and adopted the same weapon. These predators were nicknamed Samurai Predator. Now here's my version of the Samurai Predator. I worked really hard on this guy and I think he turned out pretty good. He is a complete mash of many figures. And a lot of extra fodder that I had in my bin. I try to give this guy some really good paint detail, keeping true to the samurai look, but also keeping in line with the look of the predator. His helmet I pretty much re-sculpted in gave it my own little design. And also uh, a lot of the uh, parts I stripped from a McFairline figure and recustomed and repainted. Years before I ever knew of a Samurai Predator, I always thought this would have been an amazing custom to do. And I've always had that thought in my mind, if Predators were coming to Earth for many years and challenging people, then they must have had run-ins with Samurais, Barbarians, Vikings, every type of warrior you can think of. Now here he is with his alternate head, looking like he's already been in some serious battle. I still have a few little touch-ups I have to do on him. I'm not sure if I'm satisfied with the way his katana turned out, so I might uh, work on that and we, we uh, make another one. But other than that, it, you know, I think it's okay. But you guys let me know in the comment section. Here's a look of him from the back. So you can see all the detail that I uh, that I did. I went with a little bit of red and also gold for this uh, for this samurai predator. And here's a look at his wrist sword that is still functional and retracts. Uh, it comes out pretty far, I should say. 
and it goes right back into that gauntlet. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video and the look at my new custom predator. But stay tuned because I'm going to be posting the other one. I made another one. He turned out pretty good too. I think you guys might like the way he looks. And I'll be doing up a video for him soon and I will have it up on here. I don't know, maybe on the weekend, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, depending on how I feel. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But before you guys go, like I said at the beginning of the video, just hit that uh, hit that like button, leave a comment, hit the notification so you know whenever I post my next video, but also definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.